Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times news headline updates for Tuesday, November the 27th. Representative Jason Rapert said yesterday that he had sent invitations to all 7,383 state legislators in the United States to join a nonprofit group he has founded, the National Association of Christian Lawmakers. In a Facebook post announcing the mass invite, the group explained our national motto is in God we trust, and it is time that our lawmakers start honoring the Judeo-Christian foundation of our nation. Rapert's lengthy email to lawmakers across the county, sorry, country, states that he envisions his new group to be organized professionally in a similar manner as ALEC, a handsomely funded right-wing legislative advocacy group that offers up cookie-cutter legislation at junkets for lawmakers. Rapert said, quote, The concept is that we would debate and discuss issues and formulate model statutes, ordinances, and resolutions based upon a biblical world, world excuse me, upon a biblical worldview for introduction in cities, counties, states, and nationally at the federal level. Mayoral candidates Frank Scott and Baker Curris will face off in a debate that will be aired on KARK and Fox 16 this evening at 6:30 p.m. Scott and Curris are competing in a runoff election set for December the 4th. Early voting started today. Scott fell short of the 40% threshold to win the November mayoral election, outright securing 37% of the vote. Curris won 29% of the vote in the first round, squeaking by third place finisher Warwick Saban by around 500 votes. The debate will be moderated by KARK's Ashley Ketz and Fox 16's Donna Terrell. KARK promises a fast paced, 30-minute format. The Arkansas Democrat Gazette reports that a deer broke through a window near the tax collector's office at the Cross County Courthouse. She wandered around the building until Arkansas Game and Fish was called in to help guide her out of the building. Sounds like she suffered some cuts, but was otherwise all right. They patched up the window and the taxes will continue to be collected in Cross County. Well, it's Giving Tuesday today, if you not haven't heard, but it's also hashtag Giving Newsday, an effort promoted by Newsmatch, a national matching campaign to support nonprofit journalism. The Arkansas Nonprofit News Network, or AN, the investigative and public interest project Arkansas Times editor Lindsay Miller runs on the side of his work for the Times, is part of Newsmatch. That means that through the end of the year, every tax deductible donation to the Arkansas Nonprofit News Network gets matched dollar for dollar. Those donations will go in to fund in-depth reporting that matters to Arkansas. Learn more at arcnews.org. Well, that's all your news headlines for today. As always, you can read more on the Arkansas blog. Thanks and see you tomorrow.